Going out of business is avoidable during a recession sometimes. A lot of times what happens with people during a recession is they stop doing certain things that will actually make them money. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through what you need to do to make sure that when a recession hits, that you don't go out of business. So welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking to you about things you want to do as a recession hits. For those of you guys that are watching this in the USA, you know that we are dealing with some challenges in the USA right now and all across the world because of so many things going on and because what happened with the pandemic pandemic that started back in 2019. It's all like, you know, it's all just kind of exploded over the last, you know, couple of years or so, plus the war that is unfortunately happening in Ukraine. And so we as a country have been talking all about like what's happening with the recession and we're just watching like uh, layoffs and this and this and this and this and this. And today I really just want to give you some of my tips on what you can do as a business, especially if you are a small business. So the number one thing that most businesses do when a session to hit, they stop marketing. They feel like we're going to cut our budget for marketing so that we can keep the company afloat. But what people don't really realize or business owners don't really realize is that once you stop marketing, you kind of go into hiding, right? And so like if you were normally marketing your business and that's what would drive customers, whether it is uh, a existing customers or new customers, like that's normally what happens to help you make sales in the business. Once you stop marketing, you are out of sight, out of mind. Like just think about it. There's some people in your life that you you don't remember. There's some businesses right now that you don't remember because you don't see the marketing. Now we all know Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, and then we all learned about Tubi during the Super Bowl. But if we think about like, there's some other people that we don't really see advertising a whole lot. Like we don't see Showtime advertising a lot. They're still in business, but we don't see them advertising a lot, right? We don't see Blockbuster or Redbox advertising a lot because you know, of what's been happening in their businesses or whatever, right? When you choose to stop marketing during a recession, you're actually pulling back and hiding your business, which could lead to your business going out of business a lot faster. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't tighten, tighten your budget around marketing, but this is the time when you really want to start figuring out, okay, what are some ways we can still market our business in a way that still helps us reach our existing audience and help us reach a new audience? That's what actually should be happening uh, during a recession versus pulling back. So the number one thing that people, you know, unfortunately do wrong during a recession is marketing. Now, what can you do? Well, you know, if you are someone and you run a lot of billboards or TV or paid ads, well, this is an opportunity for you to be able to use organic marketing. This is an opportunity for you to be able to use email marketing where you're getting your customers to give you their email addresses. That way you're able to contact them and all the things because email marketing is free. Now it costs you your monthly fee for whatever platform that you're using, but you know, you are able to like send messages to your customers on a regular basis. And it doesn't cost you anything. Text message marketing, that is going to save the day as well. Because if you've got 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 10,000, however many people on a text message system and you have a sale or you have a, a new offer or you just want to talk about something existing that you have, well, you can send one text message and then all these people are going to be notified about your offer and it didn't really cost you anything except maybe your monthly fee that you're paying for a text service, right? Then you've got social media. You know, yes, you can run ads on social media, but you can also also create organic content. You know, I am someone who teaches TikTok all day, every day, and your company could be learning how to use TikTok marketing or have someone like us, we can run your accounts on TikTok for you, right? And that's organic marketing to be able to reach more of your target customer a lot faster. Then you've got Instagram, Instagram Reels, Facebook, Facebook Reels. You got YouTube here. You got all these different things you could be doing. Plus you could be writing blog posts uh, to get your name out there from a marketing perspective. And you could be doing this through organic marketing. If you haven't developed an organic marketing strategy for your business, now is definitely the time to do so. It's not a time to pull back. The second thing people do during a recession is they don't focus on getting new customers and you have to be focusing on getting new customers because when, when a recession is hitting people, everybody is dealing with like, you know, financial things, right? Whether that is you as a business, but it's also maybe your particular, your customers, right? And so you can't just keep focusing on getting the same people to come into your store or buying your thing over and over and over and over again if they don't have a need for it. So this is why, like I was talking about earlier, 
work about marketing, why you have to also continue marketing your business to new people. Because again, your existing customer is dealing with some of the same things that you are, except that they don't may not run a business. They may have a job or what have you or whatever's going on, right? So you have to be getting new customers, right? So this is another reason why if you are restricting your budget a little bit, uh, but then you can use organic marketing to be able to reach your existing customers and your new customers. So that's number two. So the third way to avoid having issues with going, uh, like your business going out of business during a recession is to make sure that you go ahead and cut some unnecessary expenses that you can add in later, right? So what does that mean? So again, I shared that one of the reasons people go into, when we're in a recession, why people go out of business because they don't market, but it's also because they don't cut unnecessary expenses. Now, marketing is not unnecessary. That is necessary, but it could be like for, for us, for example, we're a small business and we have subscriptions where we pay for whether it is a podcast player, where whether it is a software or whatever it is. Our job is to go, okay, you know, before we actually have like these financial troubles, my job is to like, look at what all are we spending our money on? Like what's, what's going out the door on a regular basis? And what is it that we are using and not using, right? Like I found something that was like a thousand dollars a year. And I was like, we don't use that. Then I had it to where like we use Dropbox for a lot of our files and all that. And we had an old employee attached to that Dropbox folder right now. It was through her company email. So once she left, she was still just in there taking up space and costing us per person to be in Dropbox, right? We also use Slack for our employees. And so it's our job to go, okay, let's remove people from Slack that are no longer with the company that are taking up space, but also costing us to have a seat in Slack. If you haven't really like looked at what are you spending your money on as your as a business owner, where is all the money going out the door? Like until you really look at those things, you don't really know like what where you actually have money that can be in the bank versus constantly going out. I know myself as a person, you know, I do this all the time. I'm always like, okay, do I, am I going to that gym or am I using the gym that is at my apartment complex? I'm using the gym at my apartment complex. Okay, am I really watching Netflix and Hulu and HBO or am I just watching HBO, right? And when I really look at that, I go, okay, I'm just watching this and this, cancel that, right? And so those are some of the things we, sh we should be doing anyway to just avoid paying for like unnecessary things over and over and over again that we don't have to or we shouldn't be doing. Uh, but that could really help you as, in a per as a person, but also as a business, as we are, you know, dealing with the recession here in the United States, if you're watching this in March of 2023. So I just wanted to show, record this video to give you some tips on what you should be doing or what some of your friends or whomever should be doing during a recession to keep from going out of business. And so if you found this video valuable, I want you to go ahead and click like and subscribe to the channel. We have new videos that come out every single Monday and Thursday. And you can also watch some of my other videos here that is going to help you to be able to market your business, build your business and have success in 2023.